My name is Pedhal Dunkinda and I'm in front of the DMZ Peace Trail. The DMZ Peace Trail is located in Toron, Inje and Kosong. Walking along the DMZ Peace Trail, I can feel the pain of the war and the importance of unification. The DMZ, where the pain of division of the Korean Peninsula resides, is the only site of division in the world and a treasure trove of ecosystems. The Korean government has been working hard to turn the DMZ into a peaceful zone, especially in 2018 during the Panmunjom Declaration on April 27, when the two Koreas agreed to turn the demilitarized zone into a peaceful zone. The Korean government has promoted the DMZ Peace Trail to establish peace in the DMZ and promote prosperity and development in the border region. The Korean DMZ is characterized by having three peace roads, one in Injegun, the other one in Choron, and the last one in Kosong. Now, we're heading to the peace road located in Injegun. Actually, the peace road is characterized by having a various and a lot of landmines, as you can see behind me. The DMZ Peace Trail is in five regions in Gangwon-do, including Choron, Hwacheon, Yangwu, Inje, and Gosong. In Gyeonggi Province, they were built in Gangwa, Gimpo, Goyang, and Paju. The DMZ Peace Trail consists of 10 routes in 526 km section from Gangwa-gun, Incheon, to Gosong-gun, Gangwon-do. The Kosong section consists of two courses. Course A, which starts from Unification Observatory, passes through Kemgang Tongmun and Mountain Kemgang Observatory, and turns to the Unification Observatory. Then Course B, which returns to the Unification Observatory through Mountain Kemgang Observatory from the Unification Observatory. You can feel the pain of division by walking along the iron fence and pray for reunification and harmony. The DMZ Peace Trail was promoted to open the DMZ to the public for the first time since the division of the North and South and to develop it from a symbol of war and division to a symbol of war and ecological peace. The section of the Inje Peace Trail is also in the process of being tested. On the Inje Peace Trail, you can move along the civilian control line and mine fields by car and walk along the iron fence. Especially, you can see the Inbuk Chung stream flowing from the north to the south and observe various animals and plants, including Amargorals. We just arrived to the peace road located in Injegun. As you can see with me, as of here is really high, the wind is blowing really, really strongly. However, it's really unfortunate that we cannot go inside. On the Yangwu DMZ peace trail, you can look around the front line by passing through the information center on the way to Mountain Kemgang and passing through the gate on the way to Mountain Kemgang at Dudhaya. Here, you can also observe various plants and animals living in the DMZ. The Hwacheon Peace Trail starts from Hwacheon and allows you to visit the Peace Dam Information Center, the Northward Pad, Yangide Wetland, and Ujak Bridge at the top of the Bukan River, which southern limit line is the DMZ. Especially, the section from Yangide Wetland to Ujak Gyo Bridge can meet the upper part of the Bukan River stream, which is considered to be the lifeline of 20 million residents of the metropolitan area, and the river scenery of the native natural ecology is just astonishing. You can meet rare birds like wild geese and cranes starting autumn on the Choron Peace Trail. You can notice various scars left by the Korean War, including an iron train that was bombed back then. The DMZ Peace Trail allows many people to directly experience the diverse values of peace, 
ecology, history, and culture inside the DMZ. You can experience the DMZ Peace Trail by making an early reservation. The DMZ Peace Trail Tema program can be reserved in advance through the Turunobi website or mobile app called Turunobi, operated by Korea Tourism Organization. And for a safer trip, reservations are opened for vaccinated people or those with a negative PCR test within three days. I'm walking down the DMZ Peace Road and these fences, as you can see, are covering all of the DMZ territory. Our trip to the DMZ ends here. The DMZ is a place full of sadness, scars of the war and hope. Here in the DMZ, we've seen and learned about a lot of endangered species, animals, insects and flowers. What will become of this place if the Korean reunification happens? I hope that the DMZ will become a world universal heritage.